before we start today's video, I want to mention that 80% of you have not subscribed to the channel. Most of my views come from not subscribed people, so make sure you take the time to go down below and hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying the content. Make sure you hit the like button too if you enjoy the content as well, and enjoy today's episode. What's good? Chaotic Nation, it is your boy Chaos here. We are back once again with some more Pokemon Unbound. Let's play. Now, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. I know. And some of you people clicked off, I tried to click off the video already and you thought something exciting was going to happen. So you never know when something exciting is going to happen. So make sure you're watching the entire episode to... Make sure you get a hold of all of that. Um, I know that some people like to click off, or some people just want to leave likes, just show support on the channel, or something like that. Um, but yeah, it, it just take some time to watch the video. You don't have time to watch it now, you know. Remember where you stay, uh, you stop that, come back to watch it again in a little bit when you have more time to do so too. Um, of course, you can always split it in parts, that's fine. Um, one of my favorite strategies to watching YouTube videos is like, especially like longer episodes, I'll watch like 30 minutes of it, and then like say it's an hour episode, I'll watch 30 minutes of it, then I'll go back another 30 minutes um, some other time and do it, because sometimes that's all I have. Especially like if I'm eating lunch or something, on that it's a general standpoint. Uh, the team hasn't changed, uh, this is an electric steel gym, which makes my life a little bit rough because of all the mons in the gym. If, um... All the floors magnetized. Any electric or steel types are lifted off the floor. Um, so we are going to have an issue with that, which basically means... i got to remember how to menu in this game. Uh, which basically means that our buddy Scorpio, who would be absolutely perfect for this gym, is useless at the moment. Um, what I need to do is find... I have a way to get gravity. That, that's that's kind of what I want to work on. It's finding gravity today. Not really finding... Um, not really taking on the gym. So if I have a way to get gravity, that would be great. Um, I actually don't know what that would entail. Or how we would get that done. But if ground type moves aren't working, we're obviously in a pretty bad spot. Because uh, I don't really have a good way to deal with steel and electric types otherwise. It's kind of just been Gligar's my moment, and yet this is the point where... I mean, I can do brick, I can have fighting moves on two of my mons, so that's fine. But really, I need something to deal with ground with electric types. I guess, technically, we'd be okay. But I do want to check real quick the PC... Because I want to see if we have anything that can, that has gravity on it. I doubt it. I really do. The music in this game is kind of weird. Sometimes it's like really loud, like in the Pokemon Center or running around the town. Sometimes it's really quiet. Um, I doubt anyone has gravity on it. Or, or not. Or, um... Yeah, that might have been the only hope. Um, you don't have it either. I could throw Magmar on the team for this gym. Um, I know these are my presets because they're the ones I've used before on the team. Um, Smack, I do have Smackdown on Steven. It would just be spending the entire episode training Steven, though. I think. There's my two options. Um, honestly, gravity's not going to be that... It's, gravity would be more effective than knockdown, smackdown, because I'd have to smack down and then switch out and then attack, so... Do I want to spend the time to do that? Um, I think we're going to be okay. If we have an issue, I guess we can always... We do have that Magmar. Um, we have Spitty. That we could use to, to do some work so I guess that's what we'll do just try to take on this gym so I gotta get past these pieces of crap which it doesn't give me a clear way to do that at the moment so second floor 
Okay. Lord, he was electrified. You're electrified. Honestly, it feels like... This is some of the dumb things that... Um... These games do in order to... Mask a... Instead of, like, coming up with something to destroy... Too loud. Instead of coming up with a way to counter electric and steel types, like having something with levitate, or having something with a magnet rise, or something like that, their strategy is just, hey, let's get electromagnetism and say that's how we're going to beat it. In my opinion, that is kind of scummy. You really should be investing in um, some of the other things. Like, if you can't build a team, like, if you have to use a terrain that that makes everything levitate to get rid of your ground weakness, you really need to rethink what the team is. Um, I feel like they're just copping out, though. Kind of like, oh, let me just cheese this. For the fact of, oh, yeah, we actually can't beat this typing. I mean, you give it another... You know, get something that could take, you know, a ground-type move. Like, I don't know. Get an electric and flying type. Molga exists. Although, I freaking hate that little rat thing. I mean, I'm sure there's there, you could do air balloons um, as well. I mean, there's plenty of options that they have, but nah. If you beat me, I'll tell you what the bulb does. It changes the electric thing, and I, I know that's what it does. Also, I really love the Super Nerd Sprite because, like, the robotic Pikachu is amazing. I might. You levitate, right? So I can't switch to Scorpio here and have a good time, right? Yeah. Okay. Didn't think so. Yikes. Electric resist flying. That's something I did not know. A lot of things you find out you don't know uh, when you do this. Speaking of don't know, um, I wasn't going to record today. You're a rock and steel type, which means I really want to just punch you in the face of ground moves, but still. Um, I wasn't planning on recording today. Like, um, I'm, I got an hour till I have to be in class. So I was kind of like, maybe I shouldn't um, record today. He's gonna, he didn't close, he didn't protect, but he probably is sturdy. Yeah. Um, maybe I shouldn't record today, but I also, like, I'm not gonna really, I've had trouble in the last couple days just Figuring out places to record, figuring out, well, last week's. Figuring out times to record, figuring out how to get videos up. Um, because if you noticed, the videos are, like, I think I'm maybe, like, a week or two ahead now. I was originally a month ahead. But now I'm, like, just a week or two, and it's... It makes it a little bit difficult. Alright, that wasn't where it went. Was it this one that it changed? Yes. But I, I need to just get this done. Although, that being said, uh, I have been working on doing some other stuff, getting some more things that, you know, would create some sort of income for me, as well as um, take a lot of my time. Uh, that has fell, fallen through, so like, I'm not spending a lot more time outside of stream. And I, I honestly, I think the last two weeks, I just had some really rough and long weeks that just kind of kicked you in the pants and you had to keep going. They have this saying with college students that, uh, you know, don't worry about this week. This week might be rough, but next week it gets better. And then next week shows up and it's literally worse. It's great. Um, I just had some rough weeks. Doing a lot of stuff and staying busy and not being able to record or do anything really outside of stream as much as I want to, so. I'm glad that I can get back to recording a little bit. This series also is something that I kind of like, I lost a little bit of interest in it because I obviously haven't been doing it as frequently. So I kind of don't, I've kind of lost interest in playing the game because it's not like, oh, I have a set time every week where I record. 
used to have that, but that kind of, again, fell through. So, um, I'm just kind of at the point where I, I don't, I have time to do, I, I have a little bit of time to do things, but not a lot. And it's finding the times when I can get stuff done to actually finish and complete things. All right, we're gonna switch to Rosie to take a self-destruct because I saw that coming a mile away. I'm gonna beat Luca. We're gonna get going. Paralyzed. Yes, that's how you spell paralyzed, dude. I guess phonics does work sometimes with people to learn things. Um. The other thing I want to, I, I kind of want to discuss is like my hair is getting insanely long for me. Um. My beard is doing the same. See, I it typically shave pretty consistently. Um. In school, I was always clean-faced. Like, I always was clean-shaven. Um, I didn't really like to have facial hair because it comes in here and it doesn't really come in anywhere on the face at all. Um, but now that, like, my, my actual, like, beard is coming in a bit more and my mustache can come in somewhat, thinking about, I've been trying to do some facial hair stuff with that, although it hasn't looked great. Um... But my hair, in general, once it gets past my eye, and if you can see this, it is past my eye, um, I like to get it cut. Because otherwise I'm just sitting here doing what I'm doing now, which is readjusting my hair for the entire episode. And I know that gets kind of annoying. So I think that's how we found uh, one of my allergies out. Because I would just adjust my hair all the time. And... Um, one of my allergens is nickel, and so I would touch something metallic, and then I would do that, and so I had a big old spot on my forehead um, where I broke out because of being allergic. So, that's kind of how I figured out that was kind of something I do a lot, and also that um, I had a nickel allergy, which is fun. I had a question of the day that I wanted to ask. But now that I'm thinking about the nickel allergy, let me know what kind of allergies you guys have. If you want to know mine, I have a very, I have three very weird ones. Um, one that's super common, which is the nickel allergy, I've already mentioned. So um, the nickel is commonly found in things like met in metals. Um, it's a really cheap substitute to things like silver and um, any other metallic object. It's really common and pretty easy to come by. So, it's, it's in a lot of metals, which is, is kind of weird, because it's like, I really can't mess around with metal too much. Uh, it's fine with my hands, like, it's not like a severe allergic reaction, so like, if I touch it with my hands, it's not going to be that big of a problem. If I touch it with something else in my body, like, if I would rub my arm up and down a, a metal pipe, I would probably end up breaking out from it. Um, forgot you're a fairy type. So that is just something that I, I have to watch out for. Um, the other one is dust mites, which is kind of common. Um, so basically dust. And it really just makes me sneeze. And be puffy. Like that, it's kind of what it does for everyone else too, I guess. Um, electro Blood Floor, I invented it. Can I kill you? Because you suck. I hated the Electro Blood Floor. That was dark and very aggressive. Sheesh. Um, and then my last one is a specific color of blue dye. Um, you guys have seen me wear the PDL shirt, which is blue. That blue is fine. It's like, um, if you ever have had a dress shirt, you've, if you've ever worn a dress shirt, um, and it has like the blue in the color, that's the kind of blue. Um, and we found that out because a lot of the, I like to wear flannels and button-ups occasionally, and most regularly anytime I go outside of my room. So, most of those have that kind of lining in the neck, and so I would break out on my neck, too. So I've had a really weird spot lately where I break out, like, I've been breaking out on my ankles, and I don't know why, unless there's, like, blue dye in the black socks I'm wearing. So that's kind of weird. Um, it could just be, you know, I think, I don't know what's called, it's some kind of dermatitis, I think it might be contact dermatitis, and it would just trigger when... Stressing helps 
allow it to spread. Um, so that could be potentially what it is. As, as I've said, I've had a rough couple weeks. And, you know, stress has been very much there. So I, I, I think that might be part of it. Um, let's bring in Nemesis. Sure. So we can counteract that. Um, I know you want to use Heavy Slam. And or Gyro Ball, but that shouldn't do much. Because we are just as slow and defensive as you are. So. Yeah, a bunch of weird allergies. Bet you didn't know that about me. I don't think I've had... Yeah, I don't think I've ever had outbreaks while I've been making content. A lot of it was in high school, and that was um, really before... Um, that was the early part, I think, of my career, maybe. Maybe did, did I stream in high school? I don't know. But I, I really had it really bad in uh, the early years of high school, so I don't think I was making content at that point in time. Um, yeah. And it's not like, hey... Um, I don't know what I'm doing here not right now. It's not like, hey, get a piece of metal and shove it down Chaos's throat and he'll die. Um, no. I'm okay. I don't... What am I supposed to do, game? Like... I am confused. Alright, now I gotta stop talking about things. Now I gotta start figuring out where the heck I am and what I, what I need to do to get things done. So shutting off that one locked me out of here. There's a path there. Interesting. So there's a... I'm missing one set of something. We did go down this one, correct? Yeah, that was just an item. Okay, cool. Um... Not quite sure where to go now. I mean, this is the only way we really can go. But we're stuck here. And this one takes me to this switch. Which I've pressed. Which I pressed to do something. And then I came in here and I went down here. And this switch I pressed. Did I not press that switch? Is that what I did? I just left? Yes. How dumb do you have to be, Chaos? Don't leave this Mr. It's typing gym that I don't you love. Can't read. Um, no, I don't love. I remember what the what the original question of the day was, but I asked about um allergies, so do allergies. I'll use the next one and I don't know if I'm gonna get a second one done. Um I am kind of pushing it to get the class in time. The moment. You know, I am going to be fine, like... But I, I would be pushing it to get the class if I did a second episode. Because if I start at, like, 20 after, it'd be, I would have, like, 10 minutes to run across camp. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going to go well. Nobody. Also, Slime is just killing it here. I thought about switching into Magmar, but I don't think that actually is our play right now. We are kind of... We're tanking enough with the Eviolite that we're not dying. So that's great. I think you have Eviolite. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. But we're tanking enough, we're taking hits, and then Dragon just resist Electric, so that's a counter for that already. And then... Like, I think we're okay. This is that I'm not as ha I'm not really happy that electromagnetism exists. So again, it feels like a cop out for ways to prevent events ground type moves. Um, but still, so this is just a false one has to be just the side. Yeah, buzz buzz, static encounter. Let's go. What are we getting? Voltorb. Um. Good switch. Nah, that's interesting. I, I have made gyms where wild Pokemon spawn in the gym. So that one's shut off. 
because I turned this other switch off here. Probably. Alright, yeah, that was where that one is. This is probably something I don't need to turn on. Yikes. Ooh, wrong turn. Yeah. It's gonna unlock the buzz. That's kind of annoying. Floats with electromagnetism will shut down your... You could have Ice Punch. That's my concern. Static. Dang it, your pop. Is low kick. That's fine. We we resist that, and we're pretty defensive, so it's not gonna matter. And the flying is a stab. I know it's resisted, but it's like 120 base power and stab. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, acrobatics. Um, Gligar is pretty good. Now I know there's like a poison heal, um, toxic orb variant, especially with Gliscor. Um, and I, I know that at that point in time, it's not the best thing in the world. Also, I have to take a phone call, so I'll be right back. Never mind, I didn't have to take a call. It's from some dumb place. I don't even know what's coming in, but it's a Lux Ray. Let me take that. Yeah, I, I keep getting these spam calls for dumb things. Like they give you the spam call for, um, I'm sorry, this is the spam call for, uh, for your credit card, or this is your car insurance, or this is law enforcement wanting something that you have a warrant for your arrest, even though you haven't done anything. And if they call you, why would they call you and tell you that? Why would, why would they tell you that? They're just gonna just come arrest you. Like, bruh. I'm minus six speed, jeesh. Too bad you're dead, bud. That'd be cool if you could U-turn out into something else just to get experience at the end of the battle. That'd be pretty fun. Alright, I've came to a dead end. Do I have to run on the way back now? I need to get over there. Alright, because this is how you get back. Bro. This is a convoluted gym and I don't like it. I can't go that, that's where I need to go. Maybe that's the way out. I don't know. I'm gonna run back and heal real quick. Yeah, I love getting phone calls in the middle of edit recording too, because I'm like, oh, I can cut these out. I really don't want to, because it takes time. But, I could just go cut them out. Can I not go down the pipe? So this takes me to the electrode that I couldn't get. This takes me to this little section that takes me nowhere. Because a bulb was turned off doesn't mean it has to be turned off later. Oh no. So the one I turned on for that needs to be turned off. So I believe it's this one. And now we go check it? Yeah, that was that one. I'm trying to figure out exactly where it wants me to go. I think we gotta go back now to the beginning. Because that one doesn't matter as much. Yes. Okay, that one didn't matter as much. They are making this puzzle super convoluted. Oh, I found the gym leader. Have your final portal before you fight Galvin. Hope you brought Paralyzed Heal. Bruh, try, quit trying to be Blaine. Quit trying to be Blaine. Well, I found the gym leader, so that's good. But there is more to this gym to explore and go through. I think we're just gonna water pulse. Yeah, like I thought it should be like a key shot. Just hit yourself. Come on, man. Nice. I cannot waste a move and just use infestation. Yeah, slime is powerful. Don't get me wrong. He's a Voltorb. Uh, we'll stay in. 
and I will try just to drag and pulse it and just get rid of it. Yeah. yeah Voltorb is very frail. Magnemite, I'll switch out for that. Um, hey, what's up, pants? Loaded with electromagnetism because this game can't be nice. Oh, I'm still not over that. I'm still mad about it. Like, yeah, let me just throw electromagnetism so you can't attack me. Oh, this gym lets me collect two kinds of Pokemon. Oh, types. I was like, he's gonna steal my Pokemon? Sheesh. Ah, uh, the rat. It does exist. Here it is. Out of my face, stupid rat. I hate this Pokemon. It's not doing the annoying stuff, so that's fine. And honestly, oh my gosh. Honestly, for Elisa's gym, you just need a Brock type. Like, you don't need a ground type. Like, you can just get by with Rock type. You just throw Stealth Rocks up on her, just switch around on you. Like, it's great. It's great, man. It's it's an honestly really annoying gym, and I, I really dislike it for that. It also made me hate him all so. Everything's cute, because I take that, and you're dead. Yeah, I, I probably need to find some, like, gym, some bear, um, like a, oh, if I could get a bunch of flying gyms, that would be great. Another one? Really? I'm gonna do this, try to do something. Let's go Mega Metagross! I kinda wanna catch it, just a can. Sand ball, buddy. Nice! Nobody has Electrode, but I did catch one, so that's fun. I honestly just wanted to have it in case I wanted to use it later. It's a good level. You have a nickname to the electrode, and I call it as per usual. Balls. Nice. Alright, what does this one take me to? Some random switch. I'm assuming that has something to do with this red panel. Nope. Just random switch. Cool. Alright, well I didn't plan on really taking on the gym this episode, but we're gonna fight the gym leader. We're here. We've made it, and we can't go anywhere else until we beat him, so... That's where we're at, man. It's a good thing that the puzzle is reset. I hate gyms that are like, oh, you can't leave because the puzzle resets. Alright, what's a good lead for you? I think I'm gonna actually lead Rosie. Rosie has a good matchup here. Defensively, and then I can um, I can set up Toxic Spike. I can set up Leech Sheet to be annoying. Let's do it. Yo, what's up, fella? How's it going? Name's Galvin. You can tell I'm the gym leader here. You traded a tough time making your way across the shocking floor, didn't you? Well, it's only gonna get ten times tougher for a battle with me. Ha ha. I hope not. Annoying pain in my focus. Golem. Okay. I led well. I led re really, really well. Withdrawals Golem off the get-go. Togemaru is here. Just to stuff me. Alright, I Mega Drain again. Fine, he faked me out. Fell Stinger. Alright. I can be cheeky and set up. He's gonna switch out Togemaru bringing Golem again. So his thing is he doesn't want me to get anything up on a field. Citrus berry? Citrus berry. Rock blast is cute. Please stop. I'm gonna draw into Togo Mario again.
I should have enough HP to live one. Things that this just kills me. That's annoying. All right. To be fair, we were being very cheeky ourselves, um, so that was fun. Um, I mean, my usual counter to this just can't hit you. So honestly, I just put I put pants in a really good spot just to sweep right now. Cause I just land one more brick break. I land one more brick break, and then I start getting moxie boost. So pants just wins, and then everything's poison too. As it comes in, yo, pants is actually a really good Pokemon for this game. Okay. No high jump kick. Kind of thought you'd be a Mega Ampharos. Brings you a dragons. Makes you electric dragon, but that's still a one shot. No, it's not. Wow. Your way to shut me down is to paralyze me and then stall me out. Okay. Oh my gosh, Dragon Pulse is a lot. So my, I'm at plus one now. Do I have a full restore? I should. Should have at least a few, right? Um, cool heal. Uh, Unincense, black blue, black glasses, magnet. Nope. Like what? I really missed that. The pocket, the extra pocket here. Cool heal, hyper potion, damp rock, power belt, moon, milk, fresh water, max repel, heart stone, calcium revive, the blah 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 No. I have to use potion and then I'd have to take two turns to do it, which makes it useless. How much do I need? Yeah, that'll put me in good range. Yeah, you're just doing a lot of damage, huh? He got a double crit, that's what he did. Oh, you're just getting high rolls now, that's ridiculous, dude. Come on. Alright, Nemesis. This is the one place I will have you work. Let's get actually some... No, I can't take the time. Where are you on? Oh, I levitate with electromagnetism too. Great. Alright, you butt. Out of here. Yeah, the, the, the paralysis. If I had a full restore, we'd won that. But now I'm in a really bad spot. This thing doesn't have any weaknesses. And he's got an electric gym. Oh my gosh. Nice. Got Giga Dream too. Of course he has that. I'm gonna get some damage off before I go down. I'm running out of options here. Of course he has dragon coverage. Can just let me live my life, man. Jeez. Stab dragon pulse, come on, man. Yeah, I'm dead here, crunch. Scorpio can't do anything because typing. Gotta be enough. It's not. Yeah, I just I had no way to beat that. I'm not gonna permanently lower the game difficulty. I'm gonna permanently kick this guy's butt for paralyzing me. Can I buy it? actually? I need to know if I can buy. It. There's an actual mark somewhere. 
forget that older games had actual marks sometimes. And I was helping somebody do it. You know what, screw it. We can beat this guy. He ain't nothing. Our strategy worked well. The thing is, I gotta just start off with Leech Seed. Because we know he switches. As long as I don't get paralyzed on... My dude, I'm okay. Also, you have a counter to electromagnetism problems. Ah, he didn't do it again. I tried to make a read for, um, switching out, and I didn't get it. So toxic spikes are useless. Because electromagnetism doesn't matter. Thank you. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, toxic spikes don't matter because of electric magnetism. That's stupid. Alright, good to know, though. Good to know. If I have to do this again. You want to actually take a shot this time? No? Just doesn't die. Pants was my way to do this, and I had to land a high jump kick. Not enough. Thunderwave missed. It's not enough. To... Alright, good, good read. Alright, high jump kick should be enough as long as I land. Oh. I needed to land that so bad. Um, do I have any paralyzed heals? Yeah. I can't be paralyzed, man. I gotta outspeed this thing. Please land it. Uh, I don't know what it wants me to do at that point in time. I think Ironhead's my best bet, honestly. I don't see a way through this, man. I can Iron fl Head flinch. And hope that's the strategy. Yeah, and there that went. It's not even, that's not, it's not a hard gym, it's just, I'm getting unfortunately unlucky. Like, jeesh. Right, let's do it again, because I have to keep doing this. This game is making me angry. Toxic Spikes is useless, good to know. Pivoting around. Perfect. Good momentum there. Alright. That was my new strategy, and I like it a lot more. So I knew the fake out's coming. We can take a switch and then immediately get into a position where I can come in and blow things back as long as I land her jump kicks. There you go. Got a citrus berry. That's fine. We're faster. And now I'm in brick break range. Yeah, I just two shot brick break. And that takes care of the golem. I have Monxing, so I'm plus one, which means I can come in against the Ampros in a long 
As long as I can land a high jump kick, I'm okay. Just need one high jump kick to land. Sunday bro. Thank you. And that's that's a nice second. How much is Brick Break gonna do? Yeah. I got the second one, sweet. He's on one HP! Oh my gosh. He's dead. I'd love to keep you in, but I also need to do this. Be a cheeky get. No electric gym for you, buddy. Alright, we can switch out to Rosie. We will eat a Giga Drain. And then I can whittle you down with Leech Seed. The strategy that I've had to use to make this game work is crazy. My god. Sorry about the long episode. My apologies, but dang, this gym is being annoying. Alright. He wants to save it, which is fine. Fake out coming in. Let's switch to Scorpio. Yep. Get a U turn off. Let me set up again. Of course, I get paralyzed. I just keep getting paralyzed, man. Uh, five finger death punch. Now is not the time to be making me paralyzed and struck by you, because I don't want to. I am frustrated. I'm becoming overwhelmingly frustrated with this gym battle. Zing zap, I get paralyzed, I get paralyzed, I get paralyzed, I have to heal, I'm getting... Just something stupid happening. Sheesh. I had to bring everybody in to do that fight. Alright, back to Rosie. My number one strategy is Leech Seed. Now, your only thing you can do is crunch me. My defense fell and I get poison. He might have flamethrower. I think Avalok's still alive though, so he can just... Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. He has Dragon Claw, Thunder... He has Dragon Claw, Discharge, Crunch, and whatever his last... his other move is that I don't remember at the moment. I said discharge. Well, that's a GG. I didn't even lose anyone on the team, man. Like, the team is intact. Geesh. How did I get through that? How did I struggle with that gym twice? And then just... I think it's because Toxic Spikes, honestly. I wasted two turns setting up Toxic Spikes. But I didn't need to. Man, you should zap me silly. Take that battery badge. That's an interesting looking badge. Looks like something out of Insurgents. The battery badge lets you surf over both water and lava, but it's not only that, any Pokemon will, as long as it's over, under level 70, it'll obey. I'll let you find it that. Yo, I ain't done yet. Take this TM2 for discharge. It's for Volt Switch. Who are you, Elisa? The old Volt Switch lets you switch out if you're at a disadvantage. Show your enemies what you're made of. I could give that to someone. Then I would have a, then I would have a, a Switch Core. Because I could have, um... I could switch out between U-turn and, and uh, Volt Switch. 
because um, I have U-turn on Gligar. Man, was that a rough episode. Man, I yeah, I made it a little bit longer because I had the time to. And I wanted to beat that gym today. Because I'm not going to be coming back in the next episode just frustrated. It's like, oh yeah, I couldn't beat this gym and then I have to figure it out again. But um, I, our team made it through it. Of course, it would have been a lot easier if we could use ground type moves. I know it's trying to be challenging, but still, um, it's really annoying. Also, I think we can evolve our Goo or Gudra. Um, gonna check that real quick. Like, I think we can evolve our Gudra. A Sligu into a Gudra. So that might be something we we look into doing. Yeah, it evolves at level fifty, so we're almost there. And then it, it'll be ready to go. Um, so that seems like something we need to do. Once we get uh, closer to that, we can do it. Um, but that is going to be the episode for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh my god, 28 hours in this game already. Dang. Um, probably a lot of it speed up, though. Um, rough gym battle. We always come out on top when it comes to that. Uh, when it comes to understanding things, rough gym battle. Uh, honestly, it was just learning about, it was just learning the move sets of the opponent, and that just goes to show you, if you know what your opponent has, you can kind of beat them pretty handily, because um, we had a counter for everything on this team, we just had to find it, and sometimes that was uh, switching in and then using U-turn to switch out, just taking the electric move, stopping um, electric gym from going off, um, pivoting, setting something up. To sweep, like just a bunch of different things we had to do in that in that battle. I think it's that was actually a good gym battle. It's really annoying. Again, I will say it's really annoying, um, not being able to use ground type moves. They just need to put program it into the AI that if a Pokemon could get a ground type move, they need to be switching into a Lock Cross or have Air Balloon on something else. Um, but yeah, I don't think you need the electromagnetism on the floor to kind of stifle things. It just kind of makes the game unnecessarily more difficult. In my opinion. Um, but regardless, that is where I'm going to wrap it up today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more content from me. Of course, hit that notification bell too when you subscribe. So that way you don't miss any content here. And of course, if you want to make sure that doesn't happen, you can join me over on my YouTube over on my YouTube channel. You're already on the YouTube channel. You can join me over on uh, the Discord server to connect with us there. Um, you will... You can get notifications there as well as when a new video or a stream goes up. Speaking of which, a stream over on Twitch. Go check that out. Um, check out the best team series that we got here on Wednesdays at 5. Check out the other series on the channel, which is the Pokemon um, X Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see a, a, a randomizer, um, completely opposite games. Fan game, let's play. Main series game, Extreme Randomizer. Like, they're completely completely different so if you want either of those check it out um hoping to bring back some of the more traditional saturday content soon for you guys so hopefully that's something you see on the horizons and of course i haven't mentioned it yet but go follow me on twitter for updates and just general whatever i want to post things um, of course you can check all those links out in the description down below and thank you again for watching hope you enjoy check out invisible corporations as well and i will see you guys in the next one so until then my name is Chaos and I'm signing off. Stay safe and as always, 